Hi there, and welcome to Team Kinetic, and thanks very much for giving us the chance to show you what Team Kinetic can do. We've got a few quick start videos available, um, covering the topics that we think you'll probably be most interested in when you first start your trial period. You can always view these guides at any time by the Help and Support menu. Um, we've also got contextual help available from the help icon here in the top right of the screen. Uh, that gives you help on whatever page you're in at that moment and it covers all parts of Team Kinetic. It's a great place to go to find some more tips. So let's start. The first thing we're going to do is go about creating our first opportunity. To get to the new opportunity page, just roll your mouse over the opportunities and providers menu and then select create opportunity and you'll arrive at this page here. We're only going to cover a few of the basic possibilities in this guide, but remember to check out the help menu in the top right for some more tips and explanations about the more advanced features and other things that I'm not going to cover here now. Um, you can see straight away that some of the inputs are red. Uh, these are the mandatory fields um, and you have to fill them in, but you can also see that many aren't. Um, and it's possible to create a new opportunity very quickly with a minimum of effort um, and fill in practically nothing. However, we suggest taking the time to read about each of the options available, as the better an opportunity is to find, the more likely you are to get the best possible volunteer matches. The first thing to complete is the opportunity title. This is a short, concise name that gives a volunteer a good idea of what the opportunity is all about. Uh, you can click the question marks here to get some tool tips um, about each of the fields um, if they require a bit more explanation. And also in some instances you get this view example button. It um, gives you an example of what is a good title and what is a bad title. The next one down that's required is the opportunity description. Uh, this is where you can really go to town. Uh, the full description text is available once a volunteer opens up your opportunity and should describe fully what the opportunity is about, what the volunteer is going to be doing, um, and having uh, all the detail you like in there. Uh, it's really important. Um, again, we've got examples of what is a good and what is a bad uh, opportunity description. Um, it's just small things like letting people know about toilet arrangement, breaks, um, where they have to be, what they're going to be doing, the sort of uh, skills they might require, that sort of stuff. Um, you really can't write too much, basically, in that section. Now you can see the rest of this section, none of it's red. Um, and you don't have to complete any of these fields. Uh, but we think they're important nonetheless, and we would advise completing them all where appropriate. So uh, take the time to read the various tooltips and the examples um, and get to know those, those areas of, of the opportunity. The next key section is the location of the opportunity. Obviously very important to let the volunteer know where the opportunity is. You have a number of options for specifying the location, including a single precise location, an area, um, and also opportunities that the volunteer can do at home or anywhere. As you select these different options from this section, uh, you'll see the interface changes uh, to let you know what you have to put in. Um, in the cases where there is a location, the specific one or the area, um, you get a map um, where you can either move the pointer to, to where the opportunity is, uh, or you can fill in the address and it will get the location from the address you fill in. Uh, when using a specific location, the postcode address and city are required. Um, and we've got some lookups to help you find addresses with postcodes and, and stuff like that. Uh, so it's pretty quick to enter in the location. There's a low more inf uh, options available uh, hidden behind this section here, the show extended options section. Um, there's a lot in there. Uh, we're not going to scare you away with going through all those right now. Uh, but again, there's help available uh, in the top uh, section um, about all these options. And we would advise uh, taking a read and checking them out because some of them might be very pertinent to you and might be very useful for your organization. The final part to complete is the sessions and times. Team Kinetic is focused on a self-service model and we encourage the administrators and the providers to give details of the sessions that are available um, so that the volunteers can join them without uh, the initial email exchange which is common in many other volunteer systems. So there are two basic types of opportunities. Uh, what we call a regular opportunity uh, which has predefined times for shifts that the volunteer can choose from themselves and also flexible opportunities that have a start and an end date but no set times to attend between those dates. The classic example of a regular opportunity is an event where you know the date and time of all the shifts you need volunteers for. 
a flexible op, however, might be helping out at a charity shop where you don't know when you'll need volunteers exactly, uh, but you do know you need some help and support over the next six months. Volunteers can sign up for a flexible opportunity and will expect to start a conversation with you about when they are required. In both cases, volunteers can log hours uh, for both regular uh, and flexible ops. For regular opportunities where you know the sessions, we have two methods of entering them in, uh, where the sessions are repeating or where the sessions are non-repeating. For repeating opportunities, we collect the start date um, and all the sessions are identical. Uh, the same time, same hours, and then you select how, how often they repeat um, or what days they repeat. Um, and then you have uh, options here for either selecting the number of occurrences or the end date. Uh, in contrast, when you go to the non-repeating uh, section, here you create individual sessions, um, select as many as you need, and you can put a time, a date, and a session name for each individual session so they can all be different. Uh, so non-repeating sessions uh, can be different from each other, they can be on different days, they can be on the same days, they can be um, at the same time even, uh, but name different things. Uh, whereas repeating of uh, sessions are a lot more regular uh, where you need someone at, at the same time every week or every weekend, every month uh, for, for a period of time. If you select flexible, you only have a few things to fill out, the start date, the end date, etc. Once everything's ready, uh, just click the add new opportunity button and the gears will kick into action and your new opportunity will be created and you'll be taken to the management page for that opportunity. Uh, take a look around, um, have a little read of all the stuff that's available on that page and have fun creating your first opportunity. Uh, it's easy to remove the opportunity if you make a mistake and do it again, so don't worry about messing about with the system that way. And uh, we'll see you in the next quick start video. Thank you very much.